Number 1. Hans Steininger. Braunau is a town in Austria that is famous for two people. One is Adolf Hitler, who was born there. The other is Hans Steininger, the town's mayor in the 16th century. Steininger famously had a long, well-groomed beard of around 137 centimeters or four and a half feet that stretched down to the ground. He usually carefully rolled it up and tucked it into his pocket. However, on a September night in 1567, a raging fire swept across Brauno. Amidst the chaos, Steiner's beard came out of his pocket and started flying loose from its usual confines. As he was running down the stairs, Hans stumbled on his own beard and tripped. Consequently, he fell down the rest of the steps, broke his neck and tragically died in the process. This famously made him the man who was killed by his own beard. After the incident, the townspeople built a monument on the wall of St. Stephen's Church in honor of their beloved mayor. Before the funeral, they carefully cut off the mayor's long beard and preserved it with chemicals, displaying it at the local history museum. Thus his saga survived for centuries and is remembered today. Number 2. Tycho Brahe Tycho Brahe was a famous Danish astronomer from a noble family that lived in the 16th century. He was awarded an island from the Danish king where he built two observatories. Brahe made many observations and discoveries even at a time when the telescope was not yet invented. Relying solely on his eyes, navigation, instruments and mathematical calculations, he was able to discover over 1,000 stars, including what we today know as a supernova. However, in 1597 he quarreled with the Danish king and went into exile to Prague, where he became the imperial astronomer. Brahe was raised within one of the most influential Danish noble families and was extremely polite. He attended a banquet in Prague where he did not want to excuse himself from the table in order to go urinate. He thought that would be extremely impolite and held it in until the end of the banquet. However, when he arrived home, the overholding caused infection so bad that he could not urinate normally and subsequently died 11 days later. Tycho Brahe was buried near the astronomical clock in the old town square of Prague. Number 3. Chrysippus. Chrysippus was a Greek philosopher from the 3rd century BC and was part of the school of Stoicism. He was even said to be the second founder of Stoicism after Zeno of Sidium. Notably, he developed a system of propositional logic, which we now use in math, physics, programming languages, and even Excel. The philosopher that produced such serious work had a death that could sound too ridiculous to be taken seriously. It was said that Chrysippus died from laughing too much when he saw a donkey eating a fig. He found the scene so funny that he could not stop laughing until he lost consciousness and died in the fit of laughter at the age of 73. Number 4. Jean Papstai's Lully Jean Papstai's Lully was an Italian-born French musician and dancer. He was very talented and accomplished in music from composition, violin, guitar and opera to dancing. In 1653, the king to be Louis XIV appointed him the royal composer for instrumental music. His music career was accomplished and prosperous when he unfortunately killed himself by accident while conducting music. In the past, musicians used a heavy staff, a long stick made from wood or metal, to conduct music by banging the staff on the ground to indicate the timing of the music. It was only in the 19th century that batons, light small wands, became popular as a way to conduct music by drawing lines in the air. Lully was using the large staff to conduct music in the celebration of King Louis' recovery from surgery. During the performance, Lully accidentally struck his foot with the heavy staff. The injury caused infections that required the removal of his leg to save his life. However, Lully refused to have his leg amputated because he still wanted to be able to dance. Thus the infection spread all over his body and he died two months later. Number 5. Sam Wardell Sam Wardell was a lamplighter in Flatbush, New York in the 1880s. His job involved turning on the street lamps at nightfall and then turning them off again when dawn came. It was not an easy job to wake up so early every single morning. An alarm that could be easily snoozed was not enough for the task, so he developed his own alarm system to guarantee he would wake up for sure. He connected a basic alarm clock by a rope to his shelf, then put a heavy stone on the shelf. 
In this way, when the alarm went off, the shelf would be dragged down with the fall of the heavy stone, making a sound that would be too hard to sleep through. The system worked pretty well until one fateful night he hosted a Christmas party, to which he invited his friends over. Wardell moved around the bed in order to accommodate the party. After the celebration, he was so drunk and tired that he misplaced his bed under the shelf. The next morning, as usual, the alarm went off, but this time the shelf and the big stone fell right onto his head, killing him instantly. Please subscribe for weekly videos and shorts. Thank you for watching.